Good morning, it's Wednesday, June the 9th, and you're watching Agoracom Small Cap News TV. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Agoracom TV is a daily, fast-paced show, bringing you the best press releases along with the halts at the open so that you can only profit from them and potentially find your next great small cap investment. Folks, you may have noticed we haven't been here for the past couple of days. We just got in from Vancouver this morning. George and myself were back. I want to say thanks to all the people that we met in Vancouver. It was a great show. Now, let's get down to business. I've got two great press releases for you. One from the Canadian side, one from the U.S. side. I've got no halts to report on. So without any further ado, let's get down to business. Our lead story comes out of a company called Rainy River. They trade on the TSX Venture under the symbol R. Are the company is announcing high-grade gold intercepts from their 433 zone at the Rainy River Gold Project, which is located in northwestern Ontario. I've got the highlights, which include the 433 zone high-grade plunge continues, and it returned 128 grams per ton of gold over five and a half meters. So those are some pretty good numbers coming out of Rainy River. They're also announcing 76 grams per ton of gold over one and a half meters discovered 100 meters east of the main 43 zone. So uh, the main 433 zone. So it looks like a pretty significant step out. Uh, a little bit about the company. They're a Canadian precious metals exploration company whose key asset is the Rainy River Gold Project and they also have $60 million in the Treasury, so they've obviously got a pretty good uh, bulk of money there so they can continue exploration. Companies last at $6.30, high of $6.68, low of $1.75, market cap of approximately $456 million. Moving on to the next company, Advanced Battery Tech. They trade on the NASDAQ under the symbol ABAT. The company has announced today that they've received an order to sell electric vehicles valued at approximately $1.1 million. This is the first batch of electric motorcycles that were shipped to All Power America on June 6, 2010. This is the first entry into the U.S. market for advanced battery tech electric vehicles since the company acquired ownership of Wuxi ZQ in May 2009. Uh, the company also plans to deliver approximately 2,000 scooters by the end of June. A little bit about the company, they develop, manufacture and distribute rechargeable polymer lithium, uh, lithium iron batteries. Companies last at $3.15. High of three uh, three twenty. Uh, sorry, high of five dollars and four cents. Low of three dollars. Mark cap of approximately two hundred and sixteen million dollars. That's a wrap for today's show. Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Make sure to join us again here tomorrow. We've got more great press releases and halts in the AM for you.